welcome back to my channel Caro Collecting Memories. We have some exciting news to share with you guys. Some of you might already know, a lot of you may already know, um, but we are expecting our third baby in October which is super exciting. Um, I did a live pregnancy video and a pregnancy announcement video so I will link them down below and have them floating above my head here for you to guys to go check it out if you haven't already seen them or are interested in watching them. So yes, baby number three due in October. I have a lot of things to cover. So yep, just buckle yourself right in and we'll just jump down to it. Disclaimer number one is that I'm going to be talking about some really gross pregnancy related symptoms. And if you are easily weak at the stomach or you don't want to hear about all the gross disgusting things that come along with pregnancy, then I would probably just skip this video entirely. Or if you're expecting me to sit here and gloat about how awesome my pregnancy glow is and how great I'm feeling and how much energy I've got and how cute my baby bump is, then yeah, this is so not the pregnancy update video for you. So yes, I'm gonna be real with you guys. I'm gonna tell it how it is and Let's just put it out there. It hasn't been too much fun so far. So yeah, first disclaimer. Um, second disclaimer is if I have to bail out on this video to throw up, I apologize in advance. I've been chronically ill, which I will later touch base on. So I apologize if for some reason the lighting changes or the position changes, it means I've had to bail and go be sick and come back and re-record. So yeah, apologies in advance people. Anyway, let's just get to it. Okay, so I am currently due October 7th, I'm pretty sure. It changed, it did start with October 4th and then changed to October 7th. So at the moment, I'm currently just over 16 weeks pregnant. So it has gone super fast. Let's just place that first note. It has gone ridiculously fast. I can't believe I'm four months into it already. Mind blown. So yes, as I previously said, I have been chronically sick. So I didn't have morning sickness for Jackson. That was a breeze pregnancy compared to this. Lucy, I was sick, um, not really badly and it stopped at about 12 weeks. So nothing like too crazy. This pregnancy, I've been literally vomiting probably six times a day, six to seven times a day. The first, say, 14 weeks, I mean, chronically, I was waking up during the night and vomiting. I, you know, certain smells would set me off, certain foods would set me off. I was literally throwing up everything I ate, um, which was really difficult. I've only just started to put on weight. Um, I fell pregnant. I was 48 and a half kilos. I'm now like 50 and a half kilos. So I've put on about two kilos so far, but that's probably only happened in the last couple of weeks. Prior to that, I actually lost half a kilo because I was just vomiting all the time, which A, is super crap. Like, who wants to vomit constantly? B, when you've already got two kids to look after and being that sick is bloody crap. And three, having to work 40 hours a week and try not to vomit on patients at your job is really, really, really crap. So um, I've struggled and that's probably why I might have seemed off in a lot of my vlogs recently or haven't been putting out a hell of a lot of videos it's because I've felt so lousy. Like it's been so hard to pick up the camera and put a smile on my face when I feel like chucking up. It's, it is, it's really difficult. So I'm just being honest with you. Second thing, tired, super freaking tired. I can't wait to like second trimester energy boost that you apparently get. I think I got it with Lucy, but I better get it because I'm just tired and exhausted all the time. I guess between two kids and working so much it that's gonna happen but just super exhausted even if I get like 10 hours of sleep I'm still really tired and I want to take an afternoon nap which I can't so um that's also being really hard to adjust praise Luke out there big clap to him because he Poor Luke has just had to, you know, pick up the slack when it comes to housework and cooking because I just, I haven't been able to do it and I haven't been on my game and I hate it. I hate, you know, having to rely, not so much. I just hate 
not being able to do everything that I want to be able to do. I hate not having the house the way I want it to look. I hate not being able to cook every night. Like that just, it's infuriating and frustrating. Um, yeah. And I feel like I'm letting the family down, even though I know I'm not. And I know like Luke doesn't mind, but it's like that inner, you know, mum that thinks you're just not doing good enough. So that's also been a struggle. What else has been happening? Headaches. I've been getting crazy headaches, which is just as bad as freaking sickness and out of nowhere. Like, and I'm waking up with headaches. Like, who the hell wants to wake up with a headache? Like, what an awesome start to your working day is wake up with a freaking migraine. So, um, that freaking sucks. That sucks. So super super duper fun pregnancy so far this is morning sickness chronic headaches being super tired and symptom you know number five or whatever we're freaking up to is gas like i'm so gassy it is insane like i'm burping all the time and farting let's let's you know just be real just all the time i'm just super gassy and no matter what i eat i'm just super gassy like and my stomach just is gassy like you can see it like moving like it's just it's gross i get like gas pains and i have to like lay on my side or lay on my stomach and it's just like what the hell it's yeah super attractive and super freaking annoying so freaking symptom number five whatever is gas gas sucks okay what else is next? Oh, another awesome pregnancy symptom that they don't tell you in the books. Well, not in the ones I read or maybe not in previous pregnancies. I don't know. Is hemorrhoids. Yes, we're going to talk about hemorrhoids. I got a hemorrhoid after I gave birth with Lucy. Um, so, I mean, I'm prone to it now. I think like once you've inflamed that vein and cause hemorrhoids like they come back and then they go away and then they come back i don't really know i'm not a doctor here um but yes so any sign of constipation or if i strain on the toilet at all hemorrhoid just just happens like that and it is so crap and i mean it's disgusting like it's uncomfortable it's not nice you feel gross it's just it's not pleasant i mean they go away and then the sucker comes back and then it goes away and then it comes back. It's just, oh, it's crap. So morning sickness, headaches, gas, hemorrhoids, tiredness. It's just, it's not been fun. Other pregnancies have been so much easier. So yeah, that that's what I've been dealing with the last 16 weeks. So yeah, I thought I would just update you guys in on it. I'll show you a little screenshot of my belly because I'm starting to get a belly. Oh, and another thing, I've popped out heaps. Like, I feel like I didn't show this much like at all with Jackson and Lucy, which is crazy. Uh, I don't know if it's because, I don't know, everything's loose and stretchy already and it's just ready to go because nothing's left. Oh, God bless my abdominal muscles because they're gone. They're going to be screwed. Like, I had muscle separation with Lucy, which I don't think I recovered from. Obviously not because it's not like I went and exercised or anything. Um, so, yeah, I am I just don't even want to think about what my boobs in my stomach, my boobs and stomach are going to look like after pregnancy number three because it's just a sad situation to begin with. So, yes, it's been a struggle, but I am feeling better. That is on the plus. Um, the vomiting is subsiding. I'm probably only throwing up once in the morning now instead of, like, throughout the night and throughout the whole entire day. Headaches, mm, still happening. Hemorrhoid, currently on hiatus. So, trying to keep everything loose and regular down there to keep that bad boy under wraps. And gas, yeah, still an issue. And tiredness still an issue, but it is looking on the upside. So I'm hoping, you know, transitioning into third trimester, which is, am I in third trimester? I should know these things. When does third trimester start? Third trimester. 
second trimester and the baby brain god that just started 10 weeks ago yeah i've had that for ages actually did it ever stop after having lucy probably not um but yes what was i saying i've been to my first doctor's appointment i had my blood work done which is fabulous besides losing weight i am fit and healthy blood work wise so she was actually quite surprised because i obviously told her i was vegetarian and she was automatically like you're going to need to supplement that iron you're going to have to take all these pills blah 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 and i'm like hmm I'll take my regular prenatal vitamins but we'll see what the blood work says and the blood work came back and she was very surprised that my iron levels were perfecto and everything else was like looking fantastic so she was like oh radio so yeah blood work is fine i went for my first ultrasound already that was at around 12 weeks i think so baby's looking great we're not going to find out sex so just putting it out there already um, and yeah, besides that, that's basically all that's been happening. So I'm going to try and do these updates every two weeks. I don't want to bombard you with a whole lot of pregnancy stuff, but yes, going to update you guys every two weeks and maybe the last month I'll do it weekly because maybe more stuff will be happening then. Cause I obviously don't want to sit here and just whinge about the same symptoms, but hopefully next update I'll be a bit more like, yes, feeling fantastic. So yes let's get on to seeing the belly and yes i'm wearing pink stripy underwear because i do this pregnancy update in a dress and not pants and a t-shirt because i'm a pro so this is what my belly looks like it's getting very round it's very smudgy you know my back looks like super arched but that's what my belly looks like <laughs> We'll go front ways. That's what it looks like at the front. My belly button's already popping out. You can see a stretch mark. That's what my belly looks like there. And I'll just put my dress down. Ugh. So you get an idea. I'll come back a bit so you can see a bit. So that's what it looks like in my dress. So fairly decent size for 16 weeks i reckon what do you guys think is it a fairly decent bump for 16 weeks i feel like i'm going to be huge by the end of it but that is little bub so thank you guys for watching yet another one of my videos and if you just stumbled across my channel make sure you hit that subscribe button because we would love it if you subscribed to our little family Plus, then you'll get all the other pregnancy update feeds. So, yes, again, thank you so much, guys, for watching. We really appreciate the support. And we are super excited to share this journey with you. So, until next pregnancy update or next video, I will see you guys then. Thanks.